previously on Hell's Kitchen All-Stars. I've got these lovely gifts. Chef Ramsay surprised the final four chefs with a family reunion. <gasps> Michelle, your sister and your nephews. Huh. Benjamin. Daddy. Your wife and your daughters. Nick. Yes. Your husband, Michael, <laughs> and your mum, Jean. Millie. Here's your girlfriend, Atisha, <laughs> and your son, Pepper. <laughs> Reminding them all of their motivation for winning. Pepper, daddy going to win for you, like, yes! He then challenged them to cook a holiday-inspired dish. Let's go. These are the top four people all season. It's game on now. To be blindly judged by their family members. Oh my God. Nick's filet failed to impress his own mom. I think I'd like a little rarer for my taste. Mom! But the family members loved both Michelle. The venison. And Benjamin's dishes. The salmon. Chef Ramsay broke the tie. Benjamin, congratulations. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you. <laughs> Giving Benjamin his first individual challenge win. It feels amazing. And a ride with Chef Ramsay. Jealous. And it roar. At dinner service. At all four of your eyes wide open. Yes, yes, Chef. The final four faced a critical test. All stars, show me that you want to be in the finals. Yes, yes chef. chef. As they each took a turn running the pass. Benjamin, on the hot plate, please. Let's go. Yes, Chef. Benjamin was focused from the start. Chef, the pass is wrong. I'm sorry. This is spaghetti. Well spotted. Michelle took charge of her brigade. 30 more seconds in the pan, please, Millie. Heard it. Chef Christina, I need that spinach. All right, on your back. Where do you want it, left or right? Right here on my right-hand side. Got it. Nick quickly found his rhythm leading the kitchen. Love the idea, but let's get cream leeks up. Thank you for the feedback, Chef. Michelle, I need lamb sauce. This is duck sauce. Oh, my bad. But Millie's missteps. No pork on this beef wellington. Hey, we can't do the wellington with no pork. Oh, fuck. I made a mistake. Slowed down the momentum. Come on, Michelle, you gotta speed it up. I need it right now. When they slow, you need to tell them, change fucking gear. Yes. So when it came time to pick his finalists. I am not looking forward to sending two of you home. Chef Ramsay first eliminated. Millie. Ending his dream of becoming the head chef at Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen restaurant at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas. Chef Ramsay then chose his two finalists. Nick. And. Benjamin. But he wasn't done just yet. Michelle, you are going to have to stay a while longer. What? <laughs> the first time three chefs are going into the finals. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen All-Stars. Get out of here. Thank, Thank you, you chef. chef. Sleep well. Thank you. I feel fantastic right now. I just feel so great that all the obstacles I've had to overcome have paid off. <sighs> Good job. <laughs> it's season 14. I didn't make it in the finale. I was so close. You came very, very close. Your jacket, please don't. It was too tough of a call, even for Chef Ramsay. The three of us definitely deserve to be here still. And I'm just super happy and proud of myself right now. Oh, what is that? damn. Oh, my god. <laughs> Wait, no, we get one of these? A back master? What? Now, sous vide is a cutting edge technique. It's slow temp cooking, and it's a maybe three, $4,000 machine. I can't even comprehend right now what's going on. Like, Oh, my god. Ah, yes, I'm in the finale. Three chefs in the finale. Chef has never done this before, so it just shows you how tight the race is right now. Good job. <sighs> All together. Final three. I feel fucking amazing from fifth place to the finale. Holy <laughs> shit. From, I don't know. Uh, from Elise to the finale. Oh my god. Oh, I'm hungry. I need to eat dinner. Okay, make us tater tots. Mmm, tater tots. You can't leave, uh-uh. Hello, this is Nick. Nick. It's Chef here. Yes, Chef. I need to see all three of you in the dining room urgently. Yes, Chef. Hurry up. Yes, Chef. He said, hurry up. Ah, what's gonna happen? Wait for me, you bitches. Come on. Let's go. I know it's late. Uh, line up, please. 
Right now, I have something very important to tell all three of you. For your next critical challenge, you three will be preparing five incredible dishes. An amazing cold appetizer, hot appetizer, and then three exceptional entrees. So tonight, the sous chefs will be assisting you, but obviously there are three talented all-stars remaining and only two of them. So I reached out to a trusted colleague of mine. Her name is Keisha, an excellent chef that's been working with me for the last five years. Christina, Jockey, and Keisha, please. I have in my hands three envelopes. Uh, Michelle, come grab one. Nick. Benjamin. Michelle, unveil. Who have you got as your sous chef? Chef Jockey. Chef Jockey. Nick, who have you got? Chef Christina. Christina is super inspiring, going from winning Hell's Kitchen to running essentially a Vegas empire of restaurants. And I'm excited to be working with her because I know she's going to kill it. That means, Benjamin, you have Chef Keisha. Hey. Great. I think that every sous chef wants us to win. Even though I haven't met her or I don't know her, I'm sure Chef Ramsey would not pick Chef Keisha if he didn't think she wanted to come here and win. Head up to the dorms and get to work. Your sous chefs will join you shortly. Off you go. Yeah, yeah. Chef. I'm happy you I get to go clean the dorms. Oh, I'm my really God. Ew, it's so... <laughs> we cannot have disgusting dorms when the sous chefs are coming in here. They're going to think we're like a ratchet. Why do we have an ashtray in here? Because we're disgusting. There you go. We're peasants. I was going to make tater tots for dinner. Come in. Hey. Hey. Uh, hey. Hey. Well, I could have cleaned up, no? This is cleaned up. Oh, my god. We can sit on the couch as chef. I appear with Chef Jockey, and I love it. Everything here is Asian-inspired. OK. He runs a three Michelin star restaurant in London, and to have a chef of his caliber elevate my dishes is a reward in itself, honestly. The fish dish is going to be sea bass with squid ink pasta. And calamari, I don't know. Do you think it sounds weird? You won't be tasting anything. It's just too much of a good thing. I don't think we need the calamari or anything else. I think just the pasta and the fish. That's why I'm here to help. Yeah. I do kind of classic, simple French in general. I love the traditional truffles, blue cheese, Brussels sprouts, like that kind of old school yeah. like French style. But with this new, everybody kind of likes the smoked meats. This is definitely my Paris, Texas menu. Paris, France for technique, and Texas for the big, bold flavors. Having Brussels sprouts kind of fall around the side hmm. with the blue cheese butter and the shaped shallots and then sauce on the backside. So the fish, I wanted to kind of keep it simple. I want to do halibut and then use carrot juice as a base for a beurre blanc. I think it's different. Yeah, definitely. But, yeah. I mean, this whole dish is a little bit different. My menu is really personal, I think, that might set me apart from Michelle and Benjamin. This, to me, is like so Nick on a plate. I'm really excited. I think that's going to be really a pretty epic battle in Hell's Kitchen. Good night, guys. Get some Thank sleep. You, Good night, Are we eating tater tots still? Yes, I'm starving. <laughs> okay. Sounds really good now. I'm actually pretty hungry. Wine and tater tots? Mmm. Walking, walking tots. Guys, you're, can I walk my tots? Can I fucking walk the tots? Walk the tots. Thank you. The garnish is in the window. Fuck. Walking tots. Thank you, tots. Curd tots. I fucking know what it is, Nick. Fuck off. This morning, the chefs will hit the ground running. Let's go, guys. Grab your sous chefs and get into your kitchen. As they have just one hour to prepare a tasting menu for Chef Ramsay. Everything prepared and ready to go, right? Yeah, chef. Which will include dishes from their final menu. So you're feeling excited about this challenge, yeah? Yes, I'm very excited. This is Chef Jockey and I's first time working together. Yes, Chef. Call me Jockey. Oh, it's hard to read Chef Jockey sometimes. Is that your first name or your last name? It's not my name at all. Your name is Tom? It's not my name I, at all. At all. It's not your name at all? It's your nickname, Chef? Yeah. You don't know if he's being like funny or serious or sarcastic. We get into a random small talk. So you're going to do a trip to Japan sometime then, no? I would love to. But at the same time, I really enjoy working with him. <laughs> nice, Chef. What's that? It's very nice. I'll just cut out blocks for you, and you tell me what you're looking for from this OK, time. yes. 
I don't like thin slices, really. I'm not a fan of that. Okay, copy. That's good. Yeah. Just no sear. No sear. It's good? That's awesome. We cut through the tuna, and it tasted amazing. Yeah. Let's go. I'll go with this. I want to change my dish. Originally, I was going to sear it, but now I'm just going to be slicing little squares and then finishing them off. We'll do uh, the little circle molds, and we'll do one, two, three. Sometimes when a chef's doing something, they might have better ideas than before. It's really important to make adjustments or be you know, quick on your feet. That's what a great chef does. You're going to be OK with your beurre blanc and your hollandaise? Yes, chef. OK. I think my sauces are a little more riskier, like I am doing a hollandaise. I'm doing a beurre blanc. I'm just trying to be a little bit different. Um, my chicken's in as a timer on it. I have my halibut and my venison both started. I don't want to miss this second chance, a second opportunity to be the winner of Hell's Kitchen. That's that chicken. Ben, we're mine on the top or the bottom? You're on top, sir. That's a first. <laughs> 10 minutes to go. Yes, chef. And we're going to start plating. You know, last time I didn't make it to the finals, and this time I did. I think someone's going to go home today, but I, have, I, don't plan, I don't plan on going home today. We've got a plate. We've got a plate. Yes, we do. Let's go, guys. Yes, Finish Chef. Duchess. Last couple of minutes, please, yes? Yes, Chef. Ben? Yes, Chef. Yeah? Last couple of minutes, Michelle. Yes, Chef. Oh, come on. Oh, my god. My beurre blanc starts breaking because it got too hot. My brain's racing, like, what am I going to do? It's kind of crucial because it's a huge part of the dish. What else do we have to do? I basically need to fix my beurre blanc. It just broke. It's giving me a fucking heart attack. 30 seconds to go. Fuck. The final three chefs are preparing their menus for Chef Ramsay. We've got a plate. We've got a plate. Yes, we do. And with only moments left. Oh, my god. Nick has discovered he has a bit of a crisis with his beurre blanc. What else do we have to do? I basically need to fix my beurre blanc. It just broke. It's giving me a fucking heart attack. Now I start basically a whole new base to create a whole new beurre blanc, essentially. I am just praying it's good. Uh, next is the fish. Excuse me, chef. 30 seconds. Feel OK? Yes, yeah, chef. It looks great. Thank you, chef. 10, go, go, go. 9, 8, nice. 7, Beautiful. 6, 5, finish, finish, finish. 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. Well done. Uh, right, who'd like to go first? <laughs> <laughs> sure, let's go. I want to show Chef Ramsay what I'm made of. You know, really blow him away with the dishes that I can create, or fine dishes that show a lot of technique, a lot of skill, and a lot of flavor. Visually, uh, they look delicious. Let's start off with the cold app. Describe it, please. The cold app is a hamachi crudo mm -hmm. that's been quick cured. There's a cucumber coulis. I love the uh, fragrance of the citrus. Really good indeed. Michelle is tough competition. She is very talented. She's very intelligent. The next core chef is a uni risotto. Delicious. Really good indeed. She lives and breathes cooking. That's apparent in her challenges as well as her service. See, Bess? Underneath is a squid ink pasta. Delicious. You want the strongest competitors there, and I think you have them right now. Anybody could win this. And this one? I have a uh, crispy chicken thigh. That's really good. I love to see you using the cheap cuts, elevating it into something magical. The last course is a miso New York strip. New York strip, delicious. It's a very strong effort. They ooze personality. Benjamin and Nick, you guys have your work cut out for you, let me tell yes, you. Chef. Thank you, Chef. I am so versatile, and I just wanted to show Chef Ramsay that. And I feel like I made him proud, and I'm really glad that he liked all of my dishes. Right, Benjamin, let's go, please. Yes, Chef. I think I am the best chef in Hell's Kitchen, and I'm going to prove that to Chef Ramsay. We have ahi tuna here with ponzu, chili oil, then caviar. Wow, that's amazing. It's a lovely, refreshing, cold appetizer. Thank you, Chef. Next one. What we have here is we have a shrimp and grits finished with a good amount of Parmesan at the end, Chef. Uh, really good indeed. And the shrimp cooked beautifully. But you've elevated shrimp and grits to the Premier League. Let's get that right. So show off in a bowl. Yes, yeah, Chef. Right. Chef Ramsay really liked Michelle's dishes, and Benjamin's dishes are near perfect. Vibrant. Wonderful. Especially with the garnish, the peas, and the fennel, and the potatoes. Thank you, Chef. I'm kind of freaking out a little bit. Describe it, please. A chicken. We have an uh, airline breast here. Underneath, you have chili corn puree. I have to say, one of the uh, dishes of the night. I mean, it looks spectacular. Thank you, Chef. Finally. So you have a, a quick brown sugar cured filet mignon, and it's served over truffle potatoes. Mm. Mm. 
-hmm. And then a red wine demi chef. Delicious. I love what you've done with the marinade. Wow, um, I have to say, it, it, it screams decadence. It screams Vegas. It's uh, near perfect. Thank you, chef. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right, uh, Nick, let's go, please. Yes, chef. I've been thinking about this moment since season 14. OK. I never got the chance to show my menu. If there was more time, I would have perfected my verb long. So I'm a little nervous. Incredible balance of colors. It's like a rainbow. Nick, let's start off. Yes, chef. So my first dish is a beef and beet carpaccio. Great start. I'm really good indeed. I love the lightness of the beef. Thank you, chef. Next one. So what you have is a cranberry hollandaise with seared bay scallops. I have to say, the hit on that note for me is that cranberry hollandaise. Only you would think of cranberry hollandaise. Thank you, chef. Love it. Next. This is tricolor baby carrots, seared halibut with fennel pollen, and then a vanilla bean carrot beurre blanc. Mm. That beurre blanc. That's the star of the night. Have you tasted that? Yes, yeah, chef. Huh? Yes. Man, send that recipe straight to Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that I heard Chef Ramsay say that. My mind is absolutely blown. The next course you have is crispy chicken sweet potato puree, pickled shallots, and raw Granny Smith apples. During the fall is when I got married, and these are all sort of fall flavors. It's, it's freaking delicious. You taste it? <laughs> yes, Chef. Chef, sure, love it. Boards are for rustic charm. Okay. Put that onto a different plate, and uh, you've got a show-stopping dish there. Thank you, Chef. And finally? Uh, finally, you have a espresso and chili dusted venison loin. Got such finesse on there. Um, and the rub is just, uh, yeah, mind blowing. We're all bringing it. We're all doing a great job. No one has brought up a bad course. This competition is so close. Brilliant. Thank you, Really chef. good indeed. Thank you, Nick. Wow. Thank you, Chef. Wow. Bloody hell. Can you guys just wait there a second, please? Yeah, I need, I need two minutes. Excuse yes, Chef. Me. Yes, Chef. Damn. This is so hard. What is happening? What do you mean? Uh, sous chefs, can I borrow you for one minute, please? Yes, Quickly. chef. Thank you. There can't be three of us in the finale. There can only be two of us. So someone's going to go home. I deserve to be in the final two in Hell's Kitchen. Dear, oh dear. I feel good. I feel like I belong here. This is hard. Um, I don't know where to go. Um... You see him? Mm-hmm. In this very moment, I'm definitely feeling more anxious than I have been in this competition because so much is on the line. Oh, here they come. OK, uh, Michelle, Nick, Benjamin, uh, great job, all three of you. This is a very difficult decision, but I've made it. The first person heading in to the grand finale is... In today's showdown between the final three chefs... I know I have the right three still in the competition. Chef Ramsay has just tasted five dishes from Michelle, Benjamin and Nick's finale menus. This is a very difficult decision, but I've made it. And he is ready to reveal who will move on to compete in the final challenge. The first person heading in to the grand finale is... All three of you. <laughs> what? Yes! <laughs> We've never been so deadlocked like that, let me tell you. A moment ago, I went up to my office and made a very important call. I had to change some arrangements. I'm sending you all to an incredible retreat in the middle of the Malibu wine country. Oh. You're going to Calamillo's Ranch. All three of you in for a day of extraordinary pampering and pure relaxation. Because tonight, Calamigos is hosting the seventh annual California Culinary Association Award Ceremony. And you are going to be accompanying me at the award ceremony. Oh, it's my big. God. You're in for a night of fun. Uh, your limousine's waiting, guys. Hurry up. Thank, Thank you. Well done. Thank you, chef. Uh, Thank you, good chef. job. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Great job. You guys killed it. You did a great good job. job. You guys are super proud. I've never been to an award show before. I mean, it's going to be amazing to be able to let my hair down and just relax and, uh, and just have a good time. A limo. Yes, queen. Wow. Yeah, baby. Woohoo. This is fun. This is the way to do it. Oh, 
Oh, look, guys, we're here. We're here. That's awesome. Oh, uh, we're at the ranch. Yeah. As we pull into Calamigos Ranch, it's absolutely beautiful. I have no idea what to expect. Welcome to the CCA Awards here at awesome. Calamigos Guest Ranch and Beach Club. Chef Ramsey has an incredible day planned for you with lots of surprises. Awesome. So let's get the party started. Yeah. Excellent. Now look at this place. This is amazing. Is this us? This is you. Oh, wow. Welcome. Wow, look at this. Have fun. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. I don't know that Benjamin gets his makeup done very often. I kind of like it. It looks cool. Yeah. But he's really enjoying himself. Oh. oh. I like dressing up. Bed Beth me on? No, I don't know. <laughs> You're just fancy all the let's, way. Let's You're go for it. Artist. Benjamin's sort of like this hidden diva of the season. Yeah, usually I get two massages every single month. He likes to be pampered, and more power to you. Mm -hmm. Good job. <laughs> Oh. This is high stress for me. I'd honestly rather be cooking in a kitchen than trying on dresses, but Chef Francie wants us to look our absolute best, so, you know, I'll try to be as comfortable in all of this as I can. Perfect. Oh. <laughs> no. I like the skull one. That's kind of cool. Benjamin's looking very dapper. Michelle is adorable, as always, and there's no cooking involved tonight. That's, that's the best part about wearing this suit, is that we can relax and enjoy ourselves. Please. Thank you, sir. You clean up nice, huh? Wow. Now there's my chefs. Gorgeous. Stunning, right? Hi. I'm good. How are you, chef? Because... <laughs> you look amazing. You look so cute. You good? Yes, you look chef. incredible as well. Thank you, chef. Thank you, chef. you look great as well. You Thank good? you, chef. Yes, chef. great. Let's chef. go inside. Let's get a drink at reception. I have definitely grown since season 14. The all-star competition has definitely made me a lot stronger as a chef, but I think also as a person. Big smile. It's such an opportunity that I'll never forget. When was the last time you went to an award ceremony? Never, chef. Stop it. No. You've never been to an award ceremony? No, chef. Never, chef. Never been Stop to an award. Thanks. <laughs> I never thought I'd be walking the red carpet with Chef Ramsay. I just came here to compete. Benjamin. <laughs> now I'm here because of all the hard work I put into it. Good to see you. How are you doing, chef? Nice you all right? Nice to see you. Hi. It's just awesome being able to enjoy the night and relax for once. Hey. Congratulations. Thank you. Take a seat. Michelle, you sit here. Now I'm literally sitting right next to Chef Ramsay at an award show. Thank you, oh, Chef. You're welcome. Thank you. Just good? Yes. You look yes, amazing. Chef. There's lights everywhere. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the seventh annual California Culinary Association dinner. It's super classy. For Sommelier of the Year, Dennis Peterson. This is basically a day in the life of Chef Ramsay, and it's definitely a lifestyle I think it used to. Now, our next presenter is a star chef whose restaurants span the globe. And his larger-than-life personality have made him one of the most beloved chefs in the world. Please welcome to the stage, Chef right. Gordon Ramsay. Thank you. Please. This award is for the best newcomer. This year, who knows who the award's going to, but maybe next year it'll be me. The winners are Michelle Tribble, Nick Peters, and Benjamin Knack. Okay, already, here we go. Something weird's about to happen. First of all, I've got a confession to make to all three of you. There's no such thing as a CCAs. Let's get that right. <laughs> <laughs> All of these, ladies and gentlemen, are here for you three. This is the start of your final challenge. Oh, boy. Now, tonight's top two finishers will become tomorrow night's finalists. Now, let me tell you, this morning's challenge, OK, was a warm-up. You'll be cooking those five dishes Right here, right now. All right. Over there. I thought I was going to relax, have a couple of drinks, hang out with the chefs. But um, everything I did in this competition comes down to right now. It's all wasted if I don't perform tonight. All three of you got 60 minutes to perfect those five dishes. And your time starts now. Off we go, ladies and gentlemen, please. Great. Coming up. Let's hear it for our three finalists, Michelle, Benjamin, and Nick. 
The three finalists battle it out. We are cooking for our lives and this is it. But who will compete for the greatest prize in Hell's Kitchen history? It's time to find out which two chefs are heading into our first ever all-star finale. With only 24 hours to go before the final dinner service. Good luck, you guys. You too, Nick. Chef Ramsay has surprised the final three chefs with an elimination challenge. Here we go. What am I getting on? They all must now cook and perfect their final menus. Potato puree first. Potato puree, Get yeah. the saffron broth in, please. But only two will advance. Okay. So I'm going to start Perfect. my chicken. Okay, good. It's crazy to think that these five dishes could basically decide my fate in Hell's Kitchen, but I feel it in my gut that I'm going to make it into the final two. For the hamachi, I already have that cured. The cucumber broth. I think I'm going to go ahead and get the chicken on now, Chef. Yep. It's going to take a while. Not getting into the final two is not an option for me. I only got third place last time, and that's not gonna happen again. I'm gonna deglaze this chicken. I'm not going through all this bullshit, all this drama, all this negativity for nothing. I'm gonna beat up okay. on you every day. I'm the strongest member of the red team. You're not. At least you're not consistent. That's bullshit. Your I'm lamb was raw today. Because you were running around frazzled, not no, knowing where you were. because you kept opening the oven. Oh, oh. You skated through dinner service tonight. Not. You were not on our side of the kitchen. I stations tonight. Now you're gonna have to put your money where your mouth is. I thought you were done arguing. Boop that. So after all that, I need to get into the finale. I added lime zest to the seaweed butter because okay. I needed more acidity. Do y'all have a time? 20 minutes down. The first dish is ready. Awesome. Okay. After I get the fillets going, I'm going to start working on shrimp, chef. This is the biggest challenge yet. Someone's going home, and I need to be focused on the dishes. But at the same time, is I can hear 200 people cheering my name in the background. You don't have that many people around you while you're cooking. It can be intimidating, but it's amazing. You ever cook with an audience before? <laughs> no, chef. <laughs> chef. This is definitely the biggest crowd that I've ever cooked in front of before. And this is a lot of fucking people. It's definitely sink or swim time. We are cooking for our lives, and this is it. I think what tripped me up last time was my uh, my hollandaise and beurre blanc. So I'm gonna get that going now. Learning from my mistakes from this morning, my beurre blanc is turning out perfect. My hollandaise is turning out great. And you know, I'm putting my heart and soul on the plate, and I, I hope that Chef Ramsay sees that tonight. And you're watching these carrots snicker. Do you need me to keep an eye on them? Uh, I'm watching them, Chef. 30 minutes remaining. 30 okay. minutes. Thank you, Chef. 30 minutes. Woo! I am super prepared for this challenge. I just want to take all those notes that Chef Ramsey gave me earlier and change these dishes a little bit to make them the best that they can be. I'm going to use a little bit of yuzu butter on this steak. Yep. Is this enough peas in here, Chef? Or do you want yeah, more? a little more, please. With Chef Ramsey's feedback, I've taken every single thing he told me, and I adjusted my dishes. Did yep. you try everything? Yeah, everything's good. good. This is finished. This is needs to be finished with butter. You know, I'm going to change about the plating on the shrimp and grits like Chef suggested. I'm going to go with a really beautiful, elegant, white bowl. And this time, I think he's going to love it. Last 10 minutes, OK? Yes, Chef. Feeling OK? Yeah, this yeah. is definitely more of what I'm looking for. Between Michelle, Benjamin, and myself, I'm the only one left here that has made it farther than the original season. I think I've definitely grown the most out of the three of us. And I'm going for the finale. Chicken is out. Chicken's out. Start plating? Yeah. That's the deduction. OK, okay sounds good. Mm, OK, go on this way. Last minute, here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done, guys. Hands up. Well done. Let's hear it for our three finalists, please. Michelle, Benjamin, and Nick. Chefs, well done. That was an incredible 60 minutes. Now, your dishes will be judged on a scale of one to ten. Tonight's top two finishers move forward to the grand finale. But it will not be decided by me. Now, your dishes will be judged on a scale of one to ten. But not decided by me. We have five incredible judges. The executives in the Caesars Entertainment Group 
and one of you will become the head chef of the flagship Hell's Kitchen restaurant at Caesars Palace Las Vegas. I don't think I've ever cooked for anybody that important before. I think it's a little disturbing that Chef Ramsay is not making this final decision, but these people are like big wigs and, and I really want to impress them. Right, judging round one. General Manager of Caesars Palace, please welcome Sean McBurney, please. Thank you. Sean. Welcome. Hi, Gordon. Good to see you. Great to see you. Great Thank you so much. You. Absolute so pleasure. pleasure. Chef, are we ready? Yes, yes Chef. chef. Let's start with Michelle, please. Bring up your appetizer. Thank you. Okay, so today I have for you um, hamachi crudo that's been lightly seared and crusted in sesame seeds. I actually used a blowtorch. I want it to still be like nice and raw on the inside. It's a stunning dish. I think a great use of color. It's a beautiful dish. Very impressive, Chef. Thank you. Benjamin, next up, let's go. What we're serving today is we have an ahi tuna made with a miso ponzu puree on the bottom, American caviar, as well as pickled shallots and pickled daikon. Uh, visually, it looks beautiful. Delicious. Really looks like a piece of art. Thank you, Chef. Right. Pretty good. Right, uh, Nick, our final cold appetizer, please present. So what you have here is uh, beef and beet carpaccio with a whipped goat cheese. Great balance. Uh, very good. Great job. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, really good. Uh, three incredible appetizers. Now, uh, Sean, for the tough part, Michelle Hamachi, out of 10, what would you give her? I think it was a beautiful dish. Uh, I would give Michelle a nine. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. And then on to Benjamin's ahi tuna. Very, very artistic, great flavors. I would give Benjamin an eight. Congratulations, great. Good job, Ben. And finally, Nick's dish with that carpaccio beef. I thought it was executed very, very well. I would give Nick an eight as well. An eight, amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. It makes me feel really good that from the first course, I am getting out of the gate really strong. The hot appetizer course is being judged by the vice president of food and beverage at Caesars Palace, Corey Johnson. Hey, Gordon, how are you? And Nick is hoping his seared bay scallops with spiced cranberry hollandaise. The apple brings a sweetness to the dish. Will top Benjamin's seared jumbo shrimp with poblano peppers and grits. And the polenta's spot on. Thank you very much. Great hot appetizer. And Michelle's uni risotto with shellfish. The uni brings a little taste of the ocean. Well done. Thank you. Let's begin with Nick. Uh, one of my favorites, I'd give it a nine. A nine, Thank wow. you. And then the elevated shrimp and grits from Benjamin. I'd also give that a nine. A nine, wow. And then finally, Michelle's risotto, sea urchin. Well, I'm gonna give it a solid eight. An eight, well thank done. You. Amazing, all right, thank, thank you so much. Chef. Thanks. Thank you. With all three chefs holding their own on appetizers. We're tied now. It's time to move on to entrees. The president of Caesar's Palace, Gary Selesner, will judge their fish course. First up is Benjamin's roasted halibut with smoked cherry tomatoes. Just full of flavor. Then it's Michelle's sea bass with squid ink pasta. Tastes just like the fresh sea. And Nick's pan-seared Chilean sea bass, dusted with fennel pollen. A little sweetness there. Right, let's begin with Benjamin, the roasted bass. I've got to give it an eight. An eight, brilliant. <laughs> Michelle had the sea bass. I got to give that a nine. A nine. And then finally, uh, Nick's chili and bass. I think it was a touch too sweet. I'd have to give it an eight. Right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, quick recap on the scores. Michelle had 26 of the lead. <laughs> Benjamin and Nick are tied in second place at 25. Now, our fourth round will be judged by the global president of Caesars Entertainment. Please give it up for Tom Jenkins, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. With Michelle holding a slight edge, heading into round four, she is hoping to widen her lead with her chicken and ginger braised bok choy. Great combination of flavors. Thank you. After Michelle's strong showing, Nick will need to score big with his chicken breast with apple smoked bacon and sweet potato puree. Chicken is moist and tender, very nice. Not to be outdone, Benjamin presents his airline chicken breast and peewee potatoes. The glaze is terrific, very tasty. Let's go back to uh, Michelle's chicken thighs. I give it an eight. An eight, wow. Thank you. Nick? I think that's a nine. And then Benjamin? I think that was a nine as well. We're tied again? We're tied again. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have a three-way tie. Holy fuck. Uh, 
Our final judge is the CEO and president of Caesars Entertainment. Please give it up for Mark Pazora. Thank you. We're tied. Final round. Benjamin, please, let's go. It doesn't get more real than this. Whoever has the best two plates is going into the finals and has that chance to be the chef in Vegas. Wow. Please, describe your dish. Well, when I think of Vegas, I think of something big. So what we have here is a brown sugar cured filet mignon. It's been smoked. You have all the flavors, but it's just the filet. People who order steak want something that's big and bold, and this is a big and bold dish. It's delicious. It's outstanding. I love it. It's so tender, and it's cooked perfectly. Thank you. It's great. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, chef. Please. Right, uh, second up, oh, Nick. Wow. So what you have is an espresso in chili dusted venison loin with seared oyster mushrooms. Excellent. I mean, really, really well done. There's a salt flavor in it, too. It's really... Uh, I put on the flesh of the venison smoked sea salt. Amazing, amazing. Smoked salt at the end. Yes, sir. Uh, great job. And our third and final dish, please, Michelle. I worked really hard on the steak, and it all comes down to this one dish. I'm hoping and praying that he really, really loves my dish. I have a seared New York that's been basted in miso and yuzu butter and a Szechuan peppercorn beef demi. That is a surprise. A burst of flavor immediately that's so delicious. Oh Thank my you. goodness. Thank you. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to find out which two chefs are heading into our first ever all-star finale of Hell's Kitchen. Now, is it Benjamin? Is it Michelle? Or is it Nick? The first person is... Michelle. Good choice. Good job. In second place, joining Michelle in the Grand Valley, is it Benjamin or is it Nick? For their final challenge, the three remaining chefs have each prepared five dishes to help determine which two will go head to head in the final dinner service. Those dishes look incredible, well done. President and CEO of Caesars Entertainment Group, Mark Frazora, has already selected Michelle as the first finalist. Michelle. And it's now time to decide who will be joining her. Is it Benjamin or is it Nick? Benjamin. Yeah. Benjamin. All my hard work has paid off, and now I'm going to bring it tomorrow. And Michelle, I'm going to be the new chef in Las Vegas at Hell's Kitchen. It sucks that it came down to basically one dish, even though you put so much effort into your food. You obviously think that some of your dishes, if not all of them, were better than most of their dishes. Just knowing you lost and you disappointed your sous chef and your chef, no one wants to have that feeling. <sighs> Now, Nick, as you know, your time in Hell's Kitchen is not over yet. Yes, Chef. Because you will be joining the brigade of one of the two finalists, Benjamin or Michelle, when they face off in the final dinner service tomorrow night back in Hell's Kitchen. But as you know, it takes more than one chef to fill out a brigade. So please welcome back our all-star returning chefs. Dana, Robin, Jennifer, Elise, Van, Barbie, and Millie. Uh, Nick, please go and join them. Thank you. Whoa, man. Great. Michelle, come and stand here, please. Benjamin, stand here. Right, Michelle, you go first on the pick to put your dream team together. Now, when you look at all those returning chefs, you know them inside out. They've been with you every step of the way across this journey. Please, give us the name of the first person that you'd like to join. And tell us why first, please. Michelle has first choice pick, and I fucking better be on her team. She better have picked me. If she didn't, I'd be pissed. Uh, I'm choosing this person because they never faltered this season. They were the best competitor in all the challenges and dinner service, and that person is Nick. Nick, please. <laughs> 
it's obvious why Nick is my number one choice. We are great friends, he's a solid cook. I honestly thought it was gonna be me and him in the finals. Wow, what a night. Uh, Benjamin, who is gonna be first in your brigade? Chef, I'm gonna choose someone I've cooked with in the past, I've competed with in the past, someone who has my style of cooking. I'm gonna pick Jennifer. Wow. I picked Jennifer first because I knew that Michelle liked her, so I, I wanted to take her away. Right, uh, Michelle, second pick. Uh, my next choice was a former member of the Red Team. She always brought it every single day in challenges and in her service as well. So my next pick is Dana. Dana, let's go. Good to see you, Dana. Right, um, Benjamin. Second pick, tell us who. <laughs> My next pick is someone who cooks with a lot of passion and soul, cooks food from the heart. He has fine dining training, and he's as technical as anything. Van. Thank Van. you. That's my boy. I'm gonna kill it for Van tomorrow. Okay, back. You good? Nice to see you. Okay, Michelle. Chef, the next person I'm gonna pick, I know is gonna have my back. I worked with him in season 14. I gotta go with Millie. Yeah, Millie. Let's go. Right, uh, Benjamin, third pick. Next person I'm gonna pick is, once again, a passionate chef. She was with the red team before, and she came to the blue team and showed what she had. Right. I'm gonna pick Robin, chef. Robin, welcome back. If you want me to be completely honest, the selection was kinda slim. I kinda knew I was gonna go before Barbie and Elise. So, Michelle, uh, last pick. The effect of your choosing for both teams. I'm literally stuck between a rock and a hard place. Elise is the hard place. It's on. Oh. oh you sorry. opened a can of worms. It's on now, baby. OK, Michelle, please give us the name. And Barbie is crazy. I need that spinach, please. Worry about your beef. How about I get that spinach, Michelle? Chef, uh, the next person I'm gonna pick on my team, I don't want Elise. I don't want Barbie. I don't want either of them. Next time, one of these two chefs will be named the winner of Hell's Kitchen All-Stars. We need to end on a strong note. I got third place last time. That's not gonna happen again. And the head chef at Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen restaurant at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas. That's the Hell's Kitchen I'm gonna be the head chef at. Will it be Michelle? We need to keep rolling. Yes, chef? Yes, yes chef. chef. The young and fearless all-star from Dallas, Texas. These tickets have to be perfect. Y'all got it? Yes, sure. chef. All right. Or Benjamin. Come on, guys, let's go. The veteran chef and father of two from San Antonio, Texas. I need best to pass. Walk. I'm the best chef here, and I am gonna prove it to Chef Ramsey. Who? On the count of three. Will. One. It. Two. B. Three.